Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and today we're going to be editing the sunset photo using mainly the RGP primaries module. As usual in this format, we're going to be using what we've learned in the dark table from A to Z series. If you need a refresher, you can click on the link on the screen, watch that video and come back here. And if you need to learn about anything else we used in this video, feel free to search within that series. All right, let's crack on. I'm going to start by disabling the color calibration module because we're going to try to see if we can do that with the RGB primaries. Actually, it is better without it. Well, let's crop it. Mm -hmm. I like to put some guidelines Okay, we'll stick with that and then I'm going to enable the RGB primaries and make sure it's before filmic RGB which I'll be using in this showcase session remember that the RGB primaries at least the tint slide bars if you use them before your filmic RGB or uh, sigmoid which I don't have here then you can use them similarly to a color calibration tool if you use them afterwards then you can use them for artistic effects let's say so we're gonna try to do both all right um, it is a sunset photo but the sand is way too reddish I think and as usual even though we do want to make that photo maybe more red later on or we're gonna play around with it uh, we should start with a properly calibrated photo so I'm going to take the tint purity and crack it up and of course not red because that's ruined it completely but I'm going to move towards blue and try to I'm looking here trying to adjust the color of the sand all right well that works that's actually quite good if I may say so but why would I do that I could have done that with the color calibration I still don't understand why I would want to do that except if the color calibration module is not giving is not giving me the uh, results that I want but here we go we can do it so for the purposes of this video we will leave it at that all right now let's have a look at the exposure I want to raise the exposure a bit just to get some color in the dark areas it's too dark Tr trying to get a balance between the dark areas and a bit of details in them and not to crush the skies of course I could select this area and just and increase the uh, exposure in it but I want some more colors in the dark areas of the sky as well keeping in mind that this was a sunset so there weren't a lot of light I'm not going to try to change the mood just a tiny bit more details here and yep I'll stick with this that's how it was that's what we did now we crushed it here completely we'll see if we can get that back and I'm going to go into reconstruct enable it 
make sure most of that area is under the threshold and I'm going to increase the structure and texture since more we do have some color All right did that help yep you can see that of course we darken this a little bit again but that's good enough like I said we only needed a little bit of texture on the front the back ones can be just silhouetted it's what I was looking for and I think that should do it for filmic RGB all right then now we're going to create another RGB primaries instance you can do that by left clicking here and then I'm going to move it after filmic RGB and then I want to change the hue of the red I like it to be more orange but that's that's personal well I, I'm in for this photo for a sunset photo so I'm going to play around with the red hue slider mainly in the positive values not mainly only in the positive values to get the orange that I want and then I'm going to increase the purity because it is a sunset photo and that's what we're here for now that I've increased it I think it's a little bit too orange yeah all right what did we do till now that's how it was that's how it is now there is a bit of green in the photo but you can barely see it just on those poles but I'm not gonna play around with the green I want to change the blue a bit which is now too violet for me and not the purity no, we will get to the purity later but this I want to lower it a bit and then maybe get a bit more blue just to counteract the or counterbalance I should say the orange let's see hmm we can see now what we've done yeah and then to top it all I'm going to add orange in the gray not that much I'm just cranking it up now to see what color I'm adding and then we'll play around with the purity yeah and then a bit less maybe I'll move this to a vector scope a bit late but we'll disable it and re-enable it and we'll see the effect and a bit less of that it's far from being a science of course when you're just trying to edit it for the colors that you want in the photo so it is a question of trial and error and playing around with the colors and the sliders until you get the colors that you wanted all right that's how it was that's what we did okay I think I'm happy with the RGB primaries just for fun I'm going to just use a vibrant color setting from the color balance module and maybe you can use a haze removal Uh, no actually I don't like the effect this one does. this is adding 
I uh, can use the retouch as usual remove some oh not retouch I am sorry the diffuse or sharpen and use a denoise I'll add another one and use a local contrast and maybe another one for lens deeper we don't need a lot just a soft effect anything else no I think that will do it for this photo let's have a look at the before and after compress history stack take snapshot and I'll go back to the crop and there you go that's how it was when we started and that's the photo we have now you know what having looked in looked now on the before and after I'm going to go back here and I'm going to darken the skies a little bit I will add a tone equalizer and well first I'm going to get to where I want it to be yeah yeah that's probably better all right and I will add a graduated well a gradient Now let's try again. Take a snapshot. That's without the crop. That's so that's how it was. That's how it is now. How it was, how it is now. Maybe I should have straightened it a bit now looking at this horizon, but uh, to be honest, I was more. Uh, concerned here with using the RGB primaries module which is why we're doing this whole showcase session in the first place I'm not very concerned about this this looks pretty straight so all right well that will do it for this uh, video if you have any comments requests or corrections please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.